Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use the advanced automation features present in Foretics 1D to speed up your gel and blot analysis and minimize interoperator variability on your sites. So first I'm going to show you exactly how quickly we can make your analysis by using our automated features built into Foretics 1D. So as you can see here, I've got an unanalyzed image in front of me. I've not gone through any of the workflow within Foretics 1D to analyze this but I do have a protocol that I can apply to this that I've pre-prepared. So all I need to do to apply that protocol and to automate the analysis of this gel is to click on the main menu and click on apply protocol. And then I've got my protocol file here that I've pre-set up. Click on open and it takes me straight to the results section of, of this analyzed gel or block from where I can generate my PDF report or generate my CSV and take this data to another program or to do something else with it. And if you wanted to double check that the settings that you were expecting to be applied within your protocol have been applied, you can go back through all of the workflow modes and view what settings have been used. So you can see what your background removal method were, was, what your band detection settings were, your normalization settings, your lane numbers, things like that. So that's how quickly we can make your analysis by using our automated features. So I'll just go through and show you how you would create a protocol yourself and what kind of control you have over the, the features and the settings that are defined within those protocols. So if I just open the same image again, so I've got my image here. To build up your protocol, the protocol file is essentially a list of um, settings and options that you've already performed once and that you basically want to copy and paste and put onto every gel or blot that you've done thereafter. Which means that it works best when you've got a standardized workflow where you've got the same number of lanes in every gel, you've got the same kind of, um, you want the same background removal technique used, the same kind of settings, um, you've got the same kind of band intensity, so the same band detection settings will work. So it's very much a standardized way of, um, of using your workflow. So if I come through and if I detect my lanes, and I'm not going to, I'm aware these need adjusting slightly, but for, for this, this video, I'm not going to, to go through that. My background detection method, I'll just call it, let's go for profile minimum for a change. My molecular weight marker, let's just grab um, a biorad one, why not? and apply that on either end. It doesn't particularly matter um, what I put in as my curve type, but whatever you put in as your curve type, it will be remembered. Wherever you've defined your molecular weight lanes, they will be remembered as part of the protocol. Everything I'm doing here is included in the protocol. Uh, if I want to detect low intensity automatic bands, let's go for that. I'm not gonna do any normalization or quantity calibration. I'm gonna come through straight to results. So. Everything I've done there as part of my workflow has automatically been saved in a list as part of Foretics 1D. And that's what allows you to go to, to have the undo function. It basically just goes to the last option it remembers you doing. So I get to the end of my results of my first gel and I know I've got 100, 200 more to do that look exactly like this. What I can do is I can click on the main menu and save protocol as, and this will save every step that I've done there and the settings associated with it as a file in itself, as a protocol file. So let's call this de demo one protocol. Now, the benefit of this being a file rather than being a preset that's built into the program itself is when you have an automated protocol that's built into the program, it's unique to the copy of the program that you have on that computer which means that if you wanted to share your protocol with someone else, or you know you wanted to uh, start up a new lab somewhere else in the world, you could send all of your protocols that you've already defined and been using and validated, you can send them the protocol file and they can use it within their copy of Foretics 1D, which means that you can standardize your workflow across labs, continents, however you want to do it. So that's the benefit of, you could just literally email this file to a colleague they would open it up and if they were using the same image as you were, they would get the exact same results that you would because they've done it the exact same way.
So you can see the opportunity there to minimize interoperator variation to you know, as low as humanly possible, really. So that's the power of the automation features built into Foretics 1D and the flexibility that we've got within those. Um, so you've got the flexibility to define all of the settings, not just some of them. And you've got the ability to send these protocol files to other labs, to other sites, for them to verify your results or to repeat your analysis the exact way you've already been doing it. Thanks for listening. And if you'd like to experience how Foretics 1D can save you time in your lab and minimize interoperator variability between lab users and between different labs, please check out the links in the description below where you can access a free trial of our software and use it with your own data in-house.